Hello everyone. Last uh, video we talked about briefly how to use the Adobe Media Encoder CS4 to convert a WMV file to an FLV file. In this video, I'll reverse the process and show you how to convert a FLV file to a WMV file. So, up in the top right corner, you see this button called Add, where you can either go over here to the file to and click Add as well. You can also add an After Effects composition or Premiere Pro sequence. Um, both Adobe uh, based software for video editing. So we're gonna go up here and click add. And I've already got a, a quick little video that I recorded on a trip to Canton, Ohio uh, last year on my iPhone. So I've got a FLV or a flash version of this video that I've already got on YouTube. So we're gonna load that into Adobe Media Encoder. Now this is already in the flash format so what I'm gonna do is come over here to this format icon a little drop down menu and I'm gonna click on that now it gives you a bunch of options here that are preset so I'm gonna come down here to Windows Media as you can see you can do H.264, Blu-ray, DVD, uh, MPEG-2 or MPEG-2 Blu-ray as well as you know FLV, F4V, uh, QuickTime all the different formats that you may run into eventually so Windows Media we will click that then over to our presets here, as you can see right now it's set for NTSC source to high quality download. Okay, we're going to keep this at the NTSC source to high quality download. Um, as you can see here we have NTSC settings, PAL settings, HDTV settings, uh, you know, as well as some Microsoft Zune settings as well, and then just audio samples. So what we'll do is we'll keep it at this NTSC source to high quality download. And then all we have to do now is once it's loaded, we select start queue. Oh, real quick, um, this output file right here, if you were to click on that before you select to start the queue, uh, it'll allow you to change the file path of where your final or uh, your output video is going to be. So it's just going to output the video file in the same place that I have the original flash file um, when it's done here. Give it a couple seconds. Now that it's finished under the status, you'll see a check mark. Um, once you see that check mark, you can go back to your folder here, and I'm just going to go back to the add button since it'll lead me right back to it. And there you see the piano file that I had converted into a Windows Media file. Thank you for watching. Check back for our next video.